At Punk Science, we love a bit of healthy living. But I'm not talking about your five a day or your nutrients. I'm talking about the neurotransmitters that you have in your brain. And we're looking at some activities and some food you can eat in order to trigger them. But first, we found some uh, guinea pigs for our little project. That's right, we set up a trap in a local school and collected some possibly healthy specimens. Now, we need to establish exactly how healthy you guys are. So we've come up with an incredible scientific device called the healthometer. You'll need to help us with this. Here's how it works. Basically, if you all put your arms like that, that is zero. We have a scale of zero to ten. There's zero. Five is straight out in front. And ten is all the way up at the top. OK, with some very honest voting there. Not everyone's feeling ten out of ten healthy today. We've got some fours and... Is that a three? We've got some fives, Ooh. sixes, sevens. Looks like the highest is over here with a seven or an eight there. Try and remember what you voted for, and we'll come back after the experiment, see if we have been able to make you at all healthier. It's time for the experiment. Let's go! OK, so this group over here, you're going to be eating some food. Now, your foods do slightly different things. Now, yours is a chilli. Now, when you eat that, it will uh, cause a little bit of pain, a little bit of sensation in your mouth, and that, hopefully, might produce some dopamine. Neurotransmitter, they'll send a message to you that says, mm, actually, that was painful, but I feel good afterwards. So what you're going to do is you're going to eat some fruit, some lovely fruit that's good for healthy living, but it also might be able to uh, produce some serotonin in there. So uh, you're going to be eating that. If you want to start, just have a little bit now. Mm, that's pretty good. OK, that's nice. Mm, we're enjoying that. But I want you to eat quite a lot more. So we're going to our next one, so you carry on doing that. So you've got some grapes, you've got some bananas. You're going to start eating now. OK, that's good. OK, next group. OK, so you're going to be doing exercise the whole way through the experiment. Now, the idea of this is you're going to produce the neurotransmitter dopamine. And you get that from when you exercise really, really hard. Dan, do you want to play some music for him? Really start loud. playing. Now start going. There we go. That's good. That's good. That's pretty good. OK, you're going to keep going for quite a long time. So we'll see how that goes. OK, this group over here, you're doing something based on slightly different type of research. So what you're going to do is you're going to do fake laughter because research has shown that constant fake laughter, e even though it's not genuine, can actually make you feel good, can actually make you feel happy. So a little bit of fake laughter, fake laughter, <laughs> fake laughter. This is based on some other researchers that just looking at pictures of people smiling can make you feel good. So you have got a lovely picture of me here, <laughs> smiling. So fake laughter, let's hear that. <laughs> yeah, proper laughter. Yeah, proper cackles. OK, that's great. So you're our final group. And you're going to be doing two separate things. Now you, you're going to be our control. So that means you do absolutely nothing. Nothing at all. So don't move, don't laugh, don't eat anything, don't do any exercise. So can you do that? Yeah. you laughing. Just stop, stop laughing. Okay. Just nothing at all, OK? Just nothing, nothing. That, that was laughter, right? More with the nothing, OK? okay. Yeah, cover your mouth. Just try and do nothing. OK, that's good. Now, you are going to be doing everything. So let's hear some fake laughter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's great. And do some exercise. OK, and just eat a little bit of food and then eat a little bit of food and do some exercise and laugh. <laughs> Louder, faster, more eating. That's good, OK, that's good, that's good. <laughs> Nothing from you. I made that clear. OK, 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 faster, 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 more. That is such rubbish exercising. How's the eating going? How's that? How's that? Well, that's pretty good. He's eating an entire apple. That's good. How's the dopamine? Are you feeling the pain? Are you feeling better? You've been through a few bananas already. How's the grapes going? They're all in your mouth. Louder, though. <laughs> like you mean it. Up, down, up, down. OK, what's going on here? Nothing. You're meant to do nothing. Just nothing with the nothing. Are you still laughing? More laughter, more laughter, more laughter. They're still eating, come on, eat, 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 eat food. Eat food, how's the chilli going? How's that going? Yeah, that's good. He's still eating the apple. Let's see, they're still going. They're still going. They're going over there, they're going over there. That's all good stuff. And stop. Well, we've done it. Hopefully, we've made people feel healthier. So let's go back to the healthometer and see how healthy you feel. So you can all remember how you were at the start of the experiment. So could you put your hands in the position you chose? So I think I was about a four. And having played guitar, I've gone down to a three, so I'm a bit tired. Uh, and I want you to do, OK, 
We're going to do it all again with the healthometer. How you feel now? Here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh, and hold. Excellent. John feels much better after yeah, shouting yeah. at everyone. Yeah. Oh, dear. The control, who was supposed to not get any benefits from the experiment, is down to a two or something. Oh. OK, hands up if you had any improvement at all. Put one hand up. Three people. And what were you doing? I was eating. Eating bananas and grapes. You were doing star jumps, weren't you, sir? Yes, for a long, long time. And you were doing? Bananas. Bananas? OK, so there seems to be some improvement there from the bananas. But everyone yeah. else? Hmm. I think it's probably clear to say that our uh, experiment wasn't particularly successful. Although it was interesting in the case of some of them that they did feel that there was a response to it. Now, the one that really should have worked was the exercise. And it did work in one case because it's something that should happen quickly. Once you finish all that exercise, you should produce dopamine and you should feel after it that you've got a sense of achievement, that you feel quite good and feel quite happy in yourself. Yeah. The serotonin probably takes a little bit longer to work when you're eating different types of food. And loads of different types of food can produce serotonin in lots of different ways. Hang on. Where's, where's the guy that was doing absolutely everything? Uh, Where, where's... Oh, where? Is it? Thank <laughs> you.